Yo guys, welcome to the Double Tap YouTube page. I'm not going to say this is the podcast because this isn't actually live on the podcast. So uh, if you guys listen to our episode uh, number 330, I can remember numbers. Uh, We did have an awesome guest that came through, but it kind of made the show a little tight. So we got a little bit extra content here for the YouTube. So we're just going to be jumping right into it. So uh, yeah, man, DNF Duel. It's made its waves, right? It's it's the proverbial next to Grand Blue is the proverbial game to kind of resurrect a little bit. I don't say resurrect. I don't want to say it was dead, but damn, were we just starved for something, and we finally get quenched uh, by uh, fuck. I'm just gonna say it, like the mommy milker holder herself, Spectre, is coming through. So she she's she's quenching our thirst. So she's live, and Meza, you've already gone to tournament with her. You've already like hit top eight with her in a tournament just to make it out, uh, which is cool. But give us the four one one man, because this isn't just her that came through, right? It was also like system changes. But how are you feeling as like the resident diehard DNF dual player <laughs> here, like out of out of the three of us? Um, I think it's good. I, I think right now we're at a weird place with the game because the the wait time was just so damn long. Yeah. Uh, I, look, our numbers have gone up. It's the casual players have come back. Uh, even some have started competing. So we went from like what I guess like thirty people on for the whole week. Now we have like we hit like I think five hundred, six hundred. Uh, once the game came people came back out and that was just on steam alone a lot of psn players came back switch players are playing so like if we were to calculate all that probably have at least at least a thousand plus so it's really good but um yeah with the new system mechanics the clear cube gold cube uh is back roll uh, as a domino spirit uh it's definitely added a new dynamic to the game where some people hate it some people love it some people as, are very as as it always is hell? yeah as it always is but yeah, there's just like this. It feels like there's this weird stigma right now where we don't know what the game wants to do and we don't know what the developers want to do. And it feels like a whole brand new team just came in. Yeah, like, you know, I don't want to take it. I, I don't want to say, you know, if you're coming into this YouTube video and you're thinking you're going to get all the answers. Uh, listen, the, when when did she drop? When, when was this patch like so two, she three days ago? Oh, late, three days ago. Uh, four, oh, yeah. yeah, about three days ago, uh, three, four days ago. Let's go with that uh hasn't even been a week i it's gonna take some time especially with the the new systems that are implemented to kind of grow the meta grow the competitive you know direction you want to go with all the characters this isn't just her really this this does affect the entire cast uh, did, did a pa- i meant to ask did a patch a battle uh a balance patch come with it right yeah yes. they did yes yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm, patch. yeah i kind of i kind of like answered my own questions like yeah because i remember seeing the tweaks uh, uh the, the, the tweaks they made and then i saw the tweets made about the tweaks uh with, with a bunch of the characters so like like you said like it's it's basically like the game is just it's a brand new it's a brand new game yeah, at this it, point it, so we call it so the original patch before this we call the grand patch which was like the ultimate like everything's yes. changing yeah patch everybody everybody's getting changed. touched yeah yeah so this patch became i don't know what we're calling this yet but this patch is definitely the weirdest patch because characters who were really strong i wouldn't say they became weak but they definitely felt a, a slight nerf to the whether it's their gameplay the style the the type of uh objective they want to go for and then there's the characters who were somewhat weak kind of getting stronger during the grand patch now is insanely strong for no reason like this is this is like how i like to see it dragon ball fighters was a good example of season one everybody was getting snapped right all the time yeah imagine if that that just came back randomly in the third patch right which kind of happened for them with when lab coat came out so specter coming out was kind of like our oh we're going back to the guard break meta because they changed how guard works they added this is system that's supposed to help uh make it better for punishing people but we're still kind of unsure how the frame data works for it even though we kind of have an understanding of it it's it's just it's honestly everywhere um i think the person who understood it the most was the person who won dtn uh this weekend which was cow uh his character just kind of un- he understands his character he understands how the game is supposed to be played and right now uh guard break is the meta and it's kind of like those uh definitive situations where you have no answer to it so we're I, as i said i feel like we're at a point where you have half the developer team that's like 
well, we built this game, we built this game, but we're off it, right? And then there's another team that comes in and they're like, well, we don't want to destroy the game, so let's just put our own touch to it. Half of half of it, half of it being ours and half of it being theirs, and it's just a mis mismatch, mosh podge of everything. So it's mm -hmm. awesome though because the clear cube and the gold cube has opened up a lot of doors. Okay, yeah, I was I was gonna say because um, if, if you were to give us like a quick a quick rundown like what each one does it doesn't have to be super in-depth but like what does that what are those kinds of doors that it does open right now because i had heard of the systems and i i think i have an idea but you know to those cats that might be interested in it um what what does that really mean what does that mean for the characters yeah so like uh if you were used to back then where you'd wait till 30 percent of your life is left almost mm -hmm. like a comeback mechanic you would get yeah. all significant buffs for different characters whether it yeah. be like more movement speed more damage uh etc right but that only happened in 30 percent, and you'd only get super in 30 at 30 percent. so supers kind of became a thing but they were kind of just finishers they weren't really used outside of that or to do damage so now with the clear cube which is the 50 percent and gold cube being 30%, you can get awakening at 50%, and it has different significant buffs that you might've had in 30%, but now you have in 50%, and some of the buffs at 30% are completely different than what they were before, or they're the same, just stronger. So uh, you could unlock a lot more potential out of your character for certain matchups at 50% life than 30 okay so it's so it's it's so what's the difference between trying to do the 30 percent versus the 50 because if you're telling me i can get what i got in 30 at 50 what makes you what makes me want to get the 30 percent one which is what so, that's the gold cube yeah uh gold cube is 30 percent. Yes. Yeah, yeah okay then so, why go why is 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 gold cube just like crazy is it just everything cranked to 11 but because you need <laughs> to have such low health that's the trade-off uh it can be sometimes so uh like myself i am currently a uh 50 percent clear cube user so for specter uh she gets more damage more move speed and uh on block uh, on block she also gets uh more more damage on on block and hit so she does a lot more uh but when you're in clear when you're in gold cube you actually get access to her install which is her double install uh which allows her to essentially press a button and be plus uh, which is 5M, which is her mana move. And it does a lot of block stun, lets her j run cancel, and it does a, a tremendous amount of damage. And it also crumples on no counter, just base hit. So, yeah, she's kind of, and she also gets movement speed. So, <laughs> she's, she's kind of insane. This sounds like some wild ass, like V Trigger 1, V Trigger 2 kind of idea yeah. of like picking a different one will just, it's just a different play style that you're trying to kind of cater to right absolutely i mean i i personally feel that i like her in clear cube version just because i get that movement speed i get the damage and i get to play around uh faster characters like that but it does also have to be said that the other system that was implemented which is indomitable spirit is anytime you block a move you can give yourself gray life which you could essentially put yourself in 50% way before and not put yourself in a dire situation. So a character like Berserker who was I was gonna insane back then. Because you can because you can get that gray life back, right? Like that's the point. You can get gray life yeah. back. So that's I was literally about to drop Berserker. That's why he was so potent, right? In 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 really up to this point, because he could put himself in that situation naturally because of his kit. And then that would just let him have access to whatever, but he could like loop that. Cause if you get out of the 30% or whatever, you know, I think it was just 30% at the time. Right. Yeah. You know, 30%. when you get out of it, he's back to, he would go revert right back to normal, but then put himself back into 30 or less. Like, wouldn't that let him like have access to those well, buffs and like refresh that? Isn't that what, what his big thing was? So the biggest thing was he, once he hit 30%, he was able to always get life back and yes. it didn't take him out of awakening okay uh, there we go That's it 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 didn't yeah it didn't take him out of it so he was like a permanent install exactly. almost that he forced himself into but through system mechanics hence why <laughs> exactly. he was interesting he could abuse that like I, I say abuse but it's not abuse it's just no no they he, fucking he they, was, you know they, they they knew what they were doing he was built for the game and at first he was the poster child so him losing life and being able to spend gray life freely was just really kind of insane at the time but now that everybody has this accessibility to get you know use gray life if they choose to 
Uh, it's really good. It, it's a really strong mechanic. It's a very misunderstood mechanic still that we're all still trying to learn and understand because there are situations where uh, even though you might use Indomitable Spirit, you can be grabbed out of uh, out of it. So you, you will lose gray life, but you'll also lose more gray life mm. and, and more life. So there's a lot of situations that allow for it, but uh, ultimately this mechanic kind of sets the tone for everybody can kind of play the same game Berserker is and that's a good thing because now we've talked about always having everybody being able to do that that one accessibility because only a few characters could do it all right so light lightning round two give me two pros two cons on spec on specter right now go okay so two pros she has probably the best neutral in the game and can play from anywhere whether it's aggressive or non-aggressive uh her second pro would be she's misleading for how how strong she really is because she's really fast and a lot of her moves are really fast and safe at times cons she half her moves can be rolled and she's a uh, really susceptible to like roll which is the strong right now it's one of the stronger moves stronger things in the game um second con she's really technical <laughs> she's a really technical i wouldn't even say glass cannon she's just hard to play okay all right so, she's small body mm, yeah wait is uh, she characters like this are no. always small body no. no she is not small body no. she is so if we were to say uh sizing she would probably be second to smallest body but uh oh. most stuff will still work on her but i will say this this is the one thing that i've been saying all week is that she is the most anime-esque character in the game. And I know that sounds weird, but she's one of the only characters in the game where you have to change your combo based off of whether they're crouching or not. Oh, she's one of those. Yes. Mm. Damn, she I didn't, really I didn't, like I didn't think you had to think her. about that in this game. But she's yeah, one of those. Know, no. <laughs> okay, all right. So well, for all my vet anime cats, you know, you know what it is, especially if you're from the Guilty Gear uh, camp. But... Yeah, that. So, so she's looking strong. This is like, like I said, we're not even in week one. She's looking potent though. The system, the system mechanics look to be, you know, really interesting to kind of crack open. It's gonna be a little bit before we actually do get a real understanding for the game. But uh, it, it sounds like it's in the right direction, right? Like you feel, you feel like it's in the right direction right now. Like it's just like, cool. We gonna coast on this until something super broken gets you mad next week, and then you're like, I don't want to play this game anymore flip table i've been i've been saying the controversial thing i've been saying i think this is probably one of the best patches uh only due to the fact that where it's going to lead to is going to be 10 times better but people do feel like looking in the future we're going to look back and say this is the worst patch to ever happen uh to dnf duel just due to a lot of misleading understandings of what the game and what they want the game to do so um no i i like it i think it's uh I think this is the right time for this now, I guess. I mean, this should have been fucking, earlier. Fucking now more than ever. What it means? It's either now or never. Yeah. I mean, they definitely should have dropped characters before, but I think them dropping Spectre, she's probably the most played right now. Um, she fits the whole system. So, yeah, I think that this is a good tell for how they're going to design characters moving forward. They're going to fit this system. They're going to focus on fixing the characters that don't fit the system to fit the system. And hopefully they listen to us when we say the guard break situation is just not good. They made it worse. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a I think it's a solid patch to get new players in. Pretty shit for the, the older players who don't want to compete, who wanted to compete and find that their characters or the system just doesn't fit their character so you know that's just what it is that's how games that's how updates work yeah so hopefully we won't have to wait till 2036 for the next update to come out but in the meantime though the first dlc character for dnf duel is out if you guys uh, are liking her or playing her or checking out the new systems or have been just brought back to the fold let us know give us a comment down below on the youtube video here let us know also let us know if you can beat us in dnf duel uh comment below if you think you can give us a like if you think you can too but we appreciate you guys once again go check out uh double tap episode 330 uh we got plenty of other things to talk about uh that week that we couldn't fit in hence this video but all love and we'll see you guys on the next round later